Morning all. Okay, let's have one or two five minute games, I think, this morning. Zen Ball, 1977. Okay, English opening. Shall I dare to play e5? Okay, I'll try and squash with e4, I think. Yes, he's let me do that. Well, it's going to have to go back somewhere. Maybe h4? Okay, that's comfortable, surely. That's it. It's going to reroute f4 though. Oh, he's giving me some squares. D3, I'm on c4. Looks quite wholesome there. <laughs> oh, knight d3 check looks good. Um, is knight g4 any good or f4? Takes bishop g4. No, <laughs> pulling away here makes that difficult. What about c takes d? And then there's queen b6. Uh, or just d5 after. I think c takes d4. Well, I'm liberating that bishop. Do I want to do that? Or about just knight g4. Maybe that's better. Knight g4. Force uh, another concession. Maybe knight h3. Okay. Can I use this diagonal if I play b6? Or d5? Uh, or bishop d6, bishop e7. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, bishop d6 as example. Was that a knight e4 at some point? I can always take on c1. Bishop e7. Let's just play bishop e7 and see what he does. Ah. Okay, undermining uh, my knights. Ah. Okay, can I just take that though? If I just take that. Right, so my knight is hanging. Um, I'll take on c1 here now, I think. The king's. I've still got something. The king's kind of exposed. I can castle. This bishop needs to come in the game. This rook needs to come in the game. Somehow. He's got good control of d5 though. Cd. Queen d4. Bishop f6. Hmm. Okay. Not so easy maybe. What about bishop f6 and rook e8 just targeting this guy? I did take off that dark square bishop defender of e3. So bishop f6 just getting out of the way for an e3 attack. Hmm. Here I can play for a quick d5. There's always check though. Maybe d6 first or cd. cd. I don't know actually. Bishop g5 moves straight off the bat. That's that's interesting. Keeps hold of f5 for a moment. On that e3. Uh, so what would he want to do here? I think he's got a good grip on the position. Um, unfortunately, I think I might be in trouble. Okay, what if I do take though here? Or cd? I'll take that. Maybe Queen H four is useful. My bishop's hemmed in now. Um, mind you, F two is a bit vulnerable. If he did take, I don't know. Maybe things could look up with Rook E eight, Knight D one. Ah, okay. I'll try and. I think I'll play it like this to use F five. For a bishop, so something like d6, bishop f5. I'm just trying to get this rook into the game. If I get the chance, okay. So bishop f5 is that happening? e4, bishop g6. Hmm. Ah, I could provoke that. Or we'll cd first. I think C D first for Bishop F five without E four. Ah. 
All right, maybe I'll still go for this. So now e4 could be pushing his luck with his pawns here. <clears throat> G3 is not on the cards, is it, really? Uh, no, he's he's got a good position, to be fair. It looks like a good position. Um, let's get out of the way here for a sec. Maybe A6 and B5. I'm trying to generate some play. Bishop F7 might encourage Knight D5. Hmm, this king's now much safer than before. Okay, not not to panic. <laughs> B5, maybe I get the A file for some of that rook A8 to be dangerous. The bishop is potentially good. C4 is potentially a target. Uh, maybe I should I should go for that here. If I'm not losing a piece or anything. Okay. Right, he's using a bit of time here. Uh huh. Is his position slightly loose in some respect? He's going to play for f6. Maybe g6. It's not looking too hot. But, I don't know, my bishop's on a2 here. So knight e7. Rook a8. I thought this knight. Yes, his knights were good. Okay, c file a2. The possibility of queen f2 at some point. Uh, rook c4 just to get the queen off this diagonal. Maybe that's good. Just to double on the c file. There's something like queen f2 as a deflection for the back row. So I think rook c4 might be good. That looks like a good tempo gainer. He's getting into severe time trouble as well now. <clears throat> oh, rook c4 looks good here. Mind you, hold on, g3. Uh, then you'd have to move the rook. Bishop d5 doesn't quite do anything. I think rook c4 to start off with. Just try and um, get this back row to be an issue. Okay, so now I'm threatening something concrete. I think Queen F2 for Rook C1. Uh, what else? Maybe G3 for Queen E4, and then D5 is loose. What takes with the Queen takes Rook E4. I think G3, and then taking on E4, 97. There's always Rook. C1 there. I think G3 looks good. I'll go for it. Mind you, Queen H6 potentially dangerous mating me embarrassingly if I'm not careful. So the question is my king versus his king. G7 is a bit of a, a, bit of a concern potentially. Queen, Queen G3. Well, there's Queen E4 here, Queen H6. There's rook c1, take take, king a2, bishop d5, b3. There's no queen b1 mate there. Is that working? Really? Do I need to do that? Risk my king? Check. I think so. I think I can. I hope so. We'll see. <laughs> so rook c1. On queen h6. Oh, he hasn't gone for that. Ah, oh, this h file. Okay, it looks a bit dangerous again for the h file. Try and hold things down there. Um, no, if I take or we'll just double for a sec for rook c1 to be a threat. Get rid of a pair of rooks. Hold this for a sec. Oh, it's a time pressure situation now.
Oops, just blundered. <laughs> oh, blimey. Oh, he came out there in the end <laughs> with a vengeance. Blimey. <laughs> that was an unexpectedly tough game from the opening. I thought it was all over from the opening. <laughs> but this knight was loose to f3. Is this pushing it a bit, knight g4? <laughs> it is a loose knight. What can I do here? So I went with that e3 pawn basically. I've got some problems. He's got d5 control. He's tucking his king into safety, making that irrelevant. I suppose b5 was a logical plan. And it looks as though things were for perking up here. In this position, maybe just rook e4, just to win f2. We've got Queen E7 after. King G8. That might be okay. Um, I thought this was dangerous as well. Something missed here or not? No, it just he's back in the game. Clearly. <laughs> In fact, here, okay, so I blunder a piece with um, King g5. I think I was thinking if bishop f5 and there's knight f7, that would be annoying. So my, my main concern was knight f7. Oh well. Um, potentially, this is a bit dangerous though, this position here, um, with a threat of rook h3. Mind you, then takes knight f2, king g2. Hmm. Okay, comments or questions on YouTube? Thanks very much.